wasn't equipped to rise to fame. It's all a blur, really. I'm Ben, and I play keyboard and I do backing vocals. I'm Tyler, and I sing clean vocals. I'm Michael, and I do screams. I'm Kevin, and I play guitar. What's up? I'm Austin. I play drums and do the programming. And we are what was me. I didn't start with music until probably about middle school, seventh or eighth grade, and uh, I was playing drums for a while. Uh, really influenced by Aaron Gillespie, so I started playing drums, singing, and you know, one thing led to another. And, that's where I am um, now. I was in a lot of local bands. I think we all were. We, yeah. yeah, we were all in local bands. Um, that was a big part of how this band formed. Really started with like the uh, the whole Davy Havoc swoop down to here, like the Chelsea cut and the, the Doug Butt <laughs> shit, and we were all playing like the shot saves blast. the day. Um, Aiden kind of stuff, and then so as the generations go, now we're in the metalcore scene. Tokyo Hotel. <laughs> He looks like you want to say something. Yeah. I guess growing up, you know, we did the typical, you know, kid shit, you know, like, you know, breaking leaves at your grandma's house and, you know, your brother kicking you off the roof of your grandma's house. And Popping acid at your grandma's house. <laughs> <laughs> various things like that, but I guess, you know, like, growing into it, um, you know, some of us. You know, I'm sure it come from no musical influences. I mean, I, I know me personally, my brother and my my cousin are R&B producers, so I came from a hip hop rap background, which is completely just out of the norm for the kind of music that we do. But uh, I don't know. I guess just you know, we're just regular guys who slip and fall and trip on ourselves all the damn time. So that works. Let's see, uh, let's just say uh, it wasn't their first choice of what they wanted me to be, but um, I don't know, I was working at a car wash and uh, basically um, I stuck with it and uh, I told them I was going to make something of myself and uh, do something in the music industry and uh, I ended up doing it and uh, proved it wrong, so that felt pretty good. But, yeah. I think uh, as far as family and stuff goes, uh, even with me growing up, you know, I, I started wearing like the big old pants with the straps and the, the rubber band things on my arms. It looks like Good Charlotte and all that good stuff. Um, and as much as I love my parents, uh, you, you got to believe me, it was it was you know, giving them a worry. I'm sure, you know, looking at the kid and having different colors in my hair and, and you know all that good stuff growing up. I'm sure they were they worried for me, but um, you know, I, I just kind of decided I wanted to do it one day and. And as much as they might have thought it wasn't the best idea, um, you know, my, my family always supported me and always gave me everything I needed. And uh, you know, one day I uh, here I am doing it, and they couldn't be any more proud than me. I, I guess like when I was little and I was always singing in talent shows and stuff, um, my parents and everybody they you know they expected me to be like what Justin Bieber is now or something, but we all know like that's really like luck in this in this world and industry. You just gotta um, come across the right people. But um, when I decided that I was gonna be like a rock band or whatever, like everybody was like, yeah, you can do it. You know, do it, do what you want. I mean, I personally had a lot of support, but I think the main thing was everybody was scared that I was gonna be like the next uh, what do you call it, uh, Kurt Cobain or some <laughs> shit. Like, <laughs> like uh, get, keep your head on straight. You know? Um. About the parents, uh, my parents weren't too supportive of it, uh, as were a lot of other members in this band. But that, you know, that kind of turned around as we started having, I guess, some uh, some signs of success. Uh, as for friends, a lot of us lost all of our friends in the time we were, uh, I guess, getting this group together because we had no free time to spend with those friends. So I guess uh, a lot of jealousy. Lots of jealousy. Yeah. Lots of hate. Well, I guess like going to school and playing music at the same time was kind of hard, you know, and it's difficult. 
for my parents because I wasn't as crazy about school as I was about playing music. And uh, I guess, you know, now that we're all out of school, it's a lot easier for them to understand, you know. of our album mm -hmm. lyrics like uh, every situation like that most of us dealt with um, is part of our lyrics because like when we were writing the album it was like I, I literally would go to each person in the band like look like they would produce a song and come to me with like here's the song here's the product I'd be like you know uh, go to Ben like how you feeling today like is uh, you know how's your parents dealing with the whole band getting signed and everything and writing the album and being away from home and and I would literally like just ask people like, what do you want me to write this about? Like, you got anything specific you'd like me to write about um, in this song? And so like, if you if you uh, read our lyrics, you can really take a lot of that from it. Mainly, um, the song "Our Numbers" is is, is about um, all of us and, and the support we didn't have, and um, just you know sticking to your goals and following your dreams, like no matter what. Don't ever give up. Like there's so many times where I just wanted to give up and uh, just be like, this isn't worth it. You know, I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be at a freaking car wash my whole life. You know, but um, you know, I just stuck with it and made it a point to prove people wrong and uh, show them that I could do it. You know. kids that are going to see this interview or or um, support us as a band, like like Michael said, uh, he got to a point where he was like, I'm working at a car wash um, in, in order to try to play music and, and do something like a not so serious job and it got to where, you know, Michael would be like venting to me like, dude, I can't work in a car wash, we're never going to get signed, and this, this was in other bands, we were in another band together, um, we're never going to get signed, like... I'm tired of working at a car wash, you know, I need I need a real job, I need something that I can build my foundation with. Um, and I mean, if it gets to a point in your life where, where that's a factor, like, you really do have to make sacrifices and, and choices accordingly, but you can't really, like, give up on your dreams, you know what I mean? You just gotta stick with it, even if you have no support, because at the end of the day, it's as long as you believe in yourself. Never take your sides what some people might not know is, uh, for all you nerds out there, um, I play tons of World of Warcraft, I watch a shitload of Japanese anime by myself at night, and I eat cookies and drink milk on my bed with my cat called Hampton. That's what I do. That's my life outside of being in a metal band. I go home and I play tons of video games and I hang out with me and my cat. And me. I don't like that. <laughs> Something you guys don't know about us is uh, that we don't always get along. Um, that here's where the truth comes out. On the road, it's it's actually really hard um, living. I, I can't tell you how bad it was in the last tour when we had a tiny van and 10 people on our crew, but um, we got this bus now and everybody's got their own bunk to sleep and that's a big help, but uh, being on the road for months at a time with each other is not easy. Uh, everybody smells bad. <laughs> everybody gets attitudes sometimes. You wake up um, too early sometimes. Driving duty for some people, so we're all just kind of like, fuck, <clears throat> like sometimes. So um, it's not sugar coated. Being in a band and riding on the road is not everything is cracked up to be. We do have issues sometimes, and that's just life. So. But at the end of the day, I mean, we're we're all. You know, we're all together and we're all sitting here. So regardless of whatever problems and stuff we go through, I mean, we're obviously still kicking it and holding strong. Hey guys, uh, we're Woe Is Me. This is a wrap with Hidden City Sounds. Do what you love.